half a mile off the Israeli coast beneath that buoy. We have three pipes coming out. This plant is sucking in seawater through giant tubes, turning the Mediterranean into the national tap. It's called desalination, and it's become a multi-billion dollar industry, attracting the likes of GE and Siemens, growing at 40% a year by some estimates. This 28-acre plant in Ashkelon, an hour south of Tel Aviv, is the largest in the world and provides 13% of Israel's drinking water. Its operator, Israel Desalination Enterprises, can desalinate a cubic meter of water for just under 60 cents and is being called a model for an increasingly thirsty world. This technology these days is growing up. It's not an inexpensive process. The seawater is drawn and filtered 24-7 through a room the size of an airplane hangar. It's then compressed through thousands of filtered tubes that separate salty water from fresh. Shai Driesen is the plant manager. It kind of looks like science fiction. What? A little bit. You know? Yeah, yeah. But you say it's a, you call it a masterpiece. It's a masterpiece, for sure. By that point, the water is so pure, they actually have to add limestone like this and other minerals to make it taste like drinking water again. They get this from the Dead Sea. The plant's input and energy costs are rising, but it remains profitable. The company says it's the Asian market that will truly be an industry game changer. Because they require uh, good quality water and their resources are, are getting contaminated. As the production line ends, the salty water is dumped out to sea. The good stuff piped to Israeli households. And this is the final product? Yes. Sure looks the same. Okay, Lechaim. Cheers. Ah, it's delicious.